Hi everyone, welcome back to Old Dubs Investing. If you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you're not, thank you very much for stopping back in. In this video, we're talking an Australian ETF. We're also talking about what's happening with Golden Sachs. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, thanks for stopping back in. If you like this content and you want to see more videos on cryptocurrency investing and of course the stock market, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys. It is free. Let's get into it. Having a look at the overall market. As we can see here, we have most of the coins up today. We've got some dark green in XRP and ADA. We have Bitcoin just hitting above 57,000. And Ethereum looks like all-time high after all-time high at 3,434. And obviously having a look, Doge is obviously down. First time this has happened in quite a while. We thought nothing could stop the Doge. Who knows? On to the next one. Alrighty, big news of the day. Van Heck and BetterShares apply for an Aussie crypto ETF as family offices snap up BTC. Numerous institutional crypto products applicants have been lodged as the Australians buy more Bitcoin. Family offices in Australia are reportedly piling into the digital assets as fund managers complete the list, the country's first cryptocurrency back exchange traded fund. Van Heck Better Shares have each lodged submissions with the Australian Securities Exchange following a rejection of industry speculation in March that the exchange was opposed to such products. The ASX confirmed that it had received formal applications from several other investment managers eager to launch their own Bitcoin ETF. Earlier this week, Van Hesch, Asia Pacific chief executive said that the crypto asset movement had become more mainstream and the Bitcoin ETF on the ASX could democratize crypto assets for all types of investors. Australian ETF provides better shares also confirms an ASX application, but not specific whether it was planning a Bitcoin product or one of the broadly backed by asset, backed by digital assets. From our perspective, a regulatory structure of an ETF is the, the more appropriate structure for a significant number of investors, rather than buying Bitcoin and other cryptos in unregulated exchanges. The ASX declined a speculative or comment on the application, but stated that it is closely monitoring developments in relationships with listed involvement with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. The moves have been viewed as bullish by investors under Australia. Wealthiest families begin to diversify their portfolios with crypto assets. According to the Business Insiders, Australian report lists blockchain investment company Digital X has been offering assistance to increase number of family offices eager to invest in the maturing digital asset space. Executive director said that investors are replacing their gold portions of portfolios with Bitcoin. The biggest change has been around institutional interest, which has helped evolve it from a speculative asset to an asset that is part of a diversified portfolio and had the strongest macro wins of an investment, possibly, I think. The report revealed that an average family office in Australia and New Zealand controls more than $600 million each and it moves into crypto assets, signaling just how unlucrative the asset class is becoming. Are you in Australia like me? Is this bullish news? Do you want to see an ETF? Would you rather buy an ETF than hold crypto yourself? Let me know in the comments. On to the next one. All right, Goldman Sachs leads $15 million investment round for Coin Metrics. The investment firm is reportedly preparing to make cryptocurrencies available to its clients in the second quarter of 2021. Blockchain analysis firm Coinmetrics has raised $15 million in a founding round led by the financial giant Goldman Sachs. In an announcement today, Coinmetrics said Goldman Sachs Castle Island Ventures, Highland Capital Partners, Fidelity Investments, Avion Ventures, Commodities Capital, Caleb Countries, Caleb Currency, and others had contributed $15 million to the analytics to accelerate the company's global expansion. As well as reach more places in the crypto market, Coinmetrics co-founder Nick called the funding a huge valuation for the firm as a provider of crypto data for institutions. Data is critical for the mainstream adoption of crypto assets by traditional investors and financial services players, said Goldman Sachs head digital asset Matthew 
who will be joining the Coinmetrics Board of Directors. Goldman Sachs is continuing to seamlessly warm to more companies and financial innovations of the crypto space this year. Last week, the firm identified 19 stocks from the crypto and blockchain firm that had outperformed the S&P 500 in the past year. The financial giant is also reportedly preparing to make Bitcoin and other cryptos available to its clients in the second quarter of 2021. You heard here first, second quarter, Goldman Sachs is going to be offering assets to its clients, millions and millions of clients available, all about adoption. This is huge. This is bullish news. If you're in Australia, it's also bullish news for an ETF. Let me know. Hey everyone, thanks for watching all the way through. Hey, it really helps out the channel. It's free guys, just like, subscribe and share. If you want some free Bitcoin, please use the links in the pinned comment to Coinbase and CoinSpot. And hey, if you want a free stock, check out the pinned comment to stay in the description. See you next time.